how much of a motivation inspiration can you really be because you were never in my footsteps. Ooh, if everyone wants you to do it, are you gonna do it? Welcome to Live Lean TV, I'm Brad Gothrow, and before we get into today's video, I wanted to quickly provide some context. So, as I'm about to share, although I've never been obese before, as a kid up to my late 20s, I struggled with self-esteem issues when it came to my physique. And I share a lot of these personal stories about my self-esteem issues growing up, my lack of self-confidence in my professional career, my struggles with my divorce and becoming distant from all of my childhood friends. I share it all in my book, Think and Live Lean. So once I shifted my mindset, using the action steps given in this book, everything changed. And I'm not saying I'm the most confident person in the world now, but the change in 1996, Brad, versus today is substantial. So I believe this book will help a lot of people break through their self-limiting beliefs. So I wanna run a contest to give away some free copies. So to win a free copy of Think and Live Lean, tap the like button and subscribe to this channel and comment your age below. Then I'll randomly go in, I'll select a few winners and I'll personally mail you a copy. And if you want, I'll even sign the book for you too. Um, but don't worry, if you don't win, you can also grab a physical copy, a digital copy, or the audio book version of Think and Live Lean on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description down below. So with that said, let's jump into today's question. Dex to real. His question is, would you trade in your body of an obese person for a million dollars? So I think he's asking, would no. I trade in my body to become obese and take a million dollars? Oh, four million dollars. Yeah. Honestly, oh. that's a good question. <laughs> Which do you want more, to stay lean or a million dollars? It's not even about the money. It's, it's about the challenge. A lot Wait, of people, a lot of these shows coming out, they put the trainer on a weight gaining program where he gains oh, the yeah. weight. And people have asked me like, would you go on this show? There and I'm is. like, well, it doesn't really fit with my brand. It's like we're living lean 365, but I often wonder if I did gain weight, I would love to burn it off. I cannot imagine you as an obese person, but. It's not about the money to me. It's more about the challenge and to be an inspiration. Wait, but is the deal that you get to burn it off? It sounds like he's saying you'd have to stay obese. Oh, damn, no. I, no, like. <laughs> Making a million dollars is a lot easier than living a life of obesity. Yeah. So I would say no to that. But if it was like, it would we give you a million dollars to put the weight on and then you can and lose it, it if you want? Yes. I don't know if I would say yes, but one of my goals is to motivate and inspire people that they can do it. But being a guy who's never been obese, it's tough because I've never been obese. So how much of a motivation inspiration can you really be because you were never in my footsteps? Well, yeah, and some people who are starting out obese just feel like, how can you understand yeah. me kind of thing if you've never been in my shoes yeah. sort of thing. But I don't think that that doesn't mean you can't be an inspiration motivation. Well, I I'm just saying to are. like the point of somebody who has done that. So I guess a good question to you guys is, um, let's use this as the question of the day. We'll remind at the end of the video as well. Yeah. Put your answer down below. If I was to gain weight, and then lose it again. A hundred pounds. Would, would that be more inspirational to you listening to me than it would be if I'm just living lean 365 days a year for the rest of my life? Yeah, which scenario is more motivating? What's more motivating for you? What's more shareable for you? Ooh, if everyone wants you to do it, are you gonna do it? No. <laughs> I mean, if it's overwhelming. If you knew that that's what you no, had to I do still can't to even, motivate people, I still can't even it? say. I still can't even say that I would do it. I'm yeah. not promising anything. Probably, I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do it. Like, really? that's just my gut. Okay. Like, it's health to me. And you know what? The consequences of that are much bigger than just not liking and, the way you look or anything. It really affects your health. And Becoming I'm actually, affects I'm health. actually like, if I know you guys, I'm probably predicting that you're gonna say, don't do it. Yeah, probably. Because like our brand is about how do you sustain it 365. Right. Let us know. I'm very curious to see right. what you guys yeah, would say to that. Not for a million dollars. But a million dollars, man. Put a couple zeros on that. <laughs> I want to be a billionaire. A three comma club. Three commas. Which means a billion dollars and we can talk. <laughs>
Question of the day, as your coach, if I was to gain weight and then lose it, would that become more inspirational to you versus showing you how to live lean and sustaining a healthy lifestyle? Share your answers in the comments section below. Now I want you to go check out this video right over here on the story behind the before and after weight loss transformation of fellow live leaner, Alex.